in the lead. And our cowboy uh, tie down rope, and we've got Ryan's Creek House. They've got Armstrong County's craft beer. Now he backs in. Now notice in his teeth, he has got what is called a pig and string. That pig and string is what he's going to use to tie the calf after he catches the calf. Swings a little. And let's try to get out. Oh, he makes the throw not to be. What do you think? Can we pay off the youngster, Mr. Benjamin Redinger? No score on this evening. Now, you know these cowboys, they pay their entry fees. They, they put it on the line. If they do well, they make money. If they don't do well, it's on to the next gig. So Walmart, Lisa. So I said, Mr. you lost something? He said, matter of fact, I lost my wife in here. I said, well, you know, that's odd. I lost mine in here, too. I said, I said, what does your look like? She said, she's about 28 years old, blonde headed, got on some real tight wranglers. What does yours look like? I said, let's just forget about mine and both of us look for yours. <laughs> Brent Phillips is going to be our next cowboy, Beach Creek, Pennsylvania. You know, we got a paint horse going to be riding in. You're going to notice these cowboys, they have got all kinds of gear and all kinds of tack. If you're going to do this, you got to have that lariat that's about 25 feet long, and that wraps around the saddle horn. Now, that's important because after the cowboy makes the catch, you're going to see this horse highly skilled, highly trained, as he as he puts just the right amount of tension on that on that rope, which gives that cowboy an opportunity to get down the rope to that calf. Now, as he rides in, as he backs in, he wants to make sure that calf is standing just right. That 12 and second have deals. Zamora set our pace for us last night. 12 and seven is in the lead. So the Beach Creek Pennsylvania Cowboy makes a quick throw. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you know what to do on this Saturday night, Mr. Brent Phillips. Kilgus, Belfry, Ohio. He's going to be next to run. I got some great sponsors. Pizza Hut just brought us a big pizza. And I'm going to tell you what, if you like popping, popping hot pepperoni pizza, you got to come over there and get you one. They've got them on sale. They've been bringing them to the hill for a long time now. They've been bringing them to this great Fort Armstrong horse park for a long time. We want to thank Pizza Hut, one of our great sponsors. You know, we've got another brand new sponsor, Oliver Development. They sponsor the Calf Scramble. They're going to be bringing us the stick horse race here in just a little bit. In the meantime, Zach Kilgus comes to right. Mr. Lisa Harris was the president of the International Professional Rodeo Association. Been a cowboy your whole life. Yes, sir. Started when you was in high school. Yep. I was a baby at one time. <laughs> a long time ago. A while ago. How are you tonight? <laughs> All right, rolling down Watson Town, Pennsylvania, Zane Kilgus. I just saw Zach Kilgus go, so the Kilgus boys, they are in town. Ten and eight is in the lead. I don't forget, I've got TriStar Motors. They've got those brand new, beautiful looking Ford trucks, over 200 in stock. They are TriStar Ford of Catanning. you got to get up there and check them out. Get you some of that Ford horsepower. You know, I come from up around Louisville. I should say down around Louisville. We produce them F-150s down there. Tri-Star Tri -Star Motors puts them on the road. I have here 
four tickets to the Fab Four races. Who would like to go to that? Would you come on down here then? Oh, very nice. Okay, that's compliments of, of those guys. Hoss and his son, Levi. Oh, very nice. Well done, Katani. Quick move, absolutely. We're going to the best oil chain shop in Armstrong County. Hey, back in, let's do it. Thank you. Just Watson Town, Pennsylvania. You got Tim Nate on the board. What you gonna do? Which woman Cody official, no, no, he did not stick. But let me tell you what it would have been had he stayed tied. 9.4 seconds going for the money. Give it to him as if he earned it. When you're open behind the 10 and 8, you go for broke. I don't know if you notice how quickly he wrapped those hooves. Typically, you put three wraps on it. I believe he put one wrap on it and said, I need to get back in the saddle quickly. But the calf kicked free. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to tell you what. That, that was something. So, Michael Mist, Strikersville, New York Cowboy. Last Cowboy of opportunity to catch our leader, Mr. Zach Kilgus. And we are thanking Ryan's Creek House. I'm going to invite you down there. Now, I guarantee if you go down there, they like cowboys, they like cowgirls, they like all kinds of folks come down there and drink some of their craft beer. They got some nice things down there. So do check that out, Ryan's Creek House. Hey, we've also got Sergeant Stables with us here tonight. Located in Indiana, Pennsylvania, they've got a boarding facility and sales, lessons, breeding, training. You know, take your horse down there, get it all put together, put it in the back of one of those Altmeyer Western Wear trailers, four-star trailers, hook it up to a TriStar Ford, head down the road, let's do some rodeo. Michael Miss, our last cowboy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he knows about the 10 and 8. He knows he's not going to be in the money. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Michael Miss. And you saw it here tonight. Zach Kilgus wins our cap rope in this 2018 version of the Ford Armstrong Championship Rodeo. Pay him and all these tie-down ropers off if you would, please.